things out there nibbling. That's cool. Let's see if we can find some big things. Huh. That was a flounder. <laughs> You're about this big. That's pretty neat. In Florida, I used to sight fish a lot. I would do that first to see if I can see fish. If I can see fish, then maybe I had a chance of catching them. And flounder are my favorite to eat. Unfortunately, here in uh, North Carolina, the season is like two weeks long. And it's not open till September. Okay, well, I caught a fish. <laughs> it might take a little getting used to to be in a new spot. I guess that's just the way that goes. I guess fishing more often would definitely help and having some live bait that would help too but today was really just about getting out on the water. I was sorely needing it and this place was actually pretty darn beautiful. And really I just wanted to address some of the comments that I've seen in some of my videos recently. That's the ICW out there. Way off in the distance is a boat traveling from left to right. That was me about a year ago. Almost exactly a year ago. Because on the 4th of July, I was parked at the Moorhead City docks and there were plans for a big extravaganza with fireworks. And because the top of my boat had a lot of dead grass on it, <laughs> I decided to not stay there. And, um, Mike decided to stay there and uh, I couldn't risk the dogs freaking out and my boat potentially burning down so um, I left him to stay there and have his fun and I moved further up the ICW up Adams Creek to a place called Back Creek from there I went to Oriental and then uh, the end of my journey was closing in again that was a year ago and since then uh, so much has happened. I had to buy a truck. I had to figure out where I was going to live for the winter time. Mike already had that figured out and uh, <laughs> I had done a lot of things that he hadn't as far as preparation goes for the Great Loop but what I was going to do when we were on break was something that I hadn't really uh, quite hashed out yet. So anywho's um, that story is yet to come and there are some people out there that ask um, why I'm showing old footage and this and that and to them I would say it's my diary that's you know I'm writing down the things that I've done in my life uh, not on paper in a book like they used to but on YouTube and someday I'll be able to go back through the playlist and there won't be big gaps in between the videos I could just watch one after the other and even if nobody else cares at least I'll be able to look back on the things that I have done so if you're wondering why I'm still editing all the footage that I got from that trip, that could be why. And uh, to everybody who is confused about the timeline, maybe you're new to my channel, maybe you don't watch most of my videos, just some, and it gets kind of weird and, you know, as far as when things are happening, I apologize. I would like to do things um, real time, but the enormous amount of work that it takes to edit videos just prohibits that so I can't do that I can just put them together when I have the opportunity to sit and not do much and uh, those opportunities don't seem to come around too often right now I've been hanging out with my buddy here in North Carolina my buddy who I've known since I'm five years old and uh, it really was a tremendous breath of fresh air when I got here with my boat and the dogs to meet up with him and spend some time on land and not worry about weather or tides or any of the other nonsense that occurred while we were traveling. All the good stuff would be ending, obviously, with not traveling, but I was ready for a break. And that's another thing too, is anybody that thinks that I'm, I'm, I quit, that's just not the case. 
uh, I've usually set out to do things. You know, when I said to myself, I'm gonna open a business and rent kayaks, it took some doing, it took almost two years, but I did it. And then COVID happened and everybody and their mother was on the water and it became a dangerous spot for kayakers. And I wasn't really cool with that. Um, you know, I, I just worried about renting a kayak to somebody and having them get run over, which is not out of the question. Actually, I, I did know somebody that was hit with a boat, not one of my customers, but it, just a friend of mine right there where I was renting kayaks. So it was a real concern and it started to become more like work because I was there every day of the week. So I decided, you know what, I had the opportunity, thank you to YouTube, uh, for taking my job on the road. And when Mike approached me about the Great Loop, I thought that's just too perfect. You know, I may never have an opportunity or the balls or stupidity or whatever you call it to, uh, to do such a thing. So I jumped on it and I don't regret closing the business. It was a uh, brick and mortar. The rent was expensive. There were things I could have done differently. I wasn't able to go out with my clients. Some clients just didn't care. You know, just like any business, you have your uh, good customers in your bed. Most of them were good. But I thought, you know, I could get a trailer, put some kayaks on the trailer and go to spots and paddle around with people just as easy and then there wouldn't be the enormous cost of a brick and mortar. I can just keep the kayaks at my house or land or wherever. So that's something I'm thinking about for, uh, thinking about doing in the future. And um, yeah, uh, one of the other things I think about doing is completing the loop. Uh, Mike and I from day one thought of it like the Appalachian Trail almost. I think a lot of people do that in segments. You hike a little bit, you stop, you come back months or a year later or years later, pick up where you left off and you continue until you've done the whole thing. And I see people who do the loop just, you know, one shot. They, they start it, they keep going, they hustle and they get to the end and they're like, yeah, yeah I did it. And uh, the people who are doing this on YouTube, uh, a lot of the commenters are asking, why didn't you stop and see all the things along the way? Isn't that part of the loop? And I agree with those folks. So uh, Mike and I did not want to do it all in one shot. We wanted to go out there and really uh, stop and smell the roses as much as we could. Our big boats, I think, prevented that along with some other issues, but um, I, I plan to continue to do that. I know Mike, I, I'm, although I haven't spoken to him for a while, I'm sure that I can speak for him and he would want to do it as long as his health permits and, you know, uh, fate, all of us have to, deal with that to some degree so hopefully he gets to finish his his journey his loop and hopefully I get to finish mine just like we planned so um, yeah I, I don't want to say that I didn't quit because who knows maybe the opportunity won't come for me to continue maybe I'll fall on hard times financially or I'll get sick or you never know but if I have my way I will pick up right here from Moorhead City North Carolina continue up that ICW which is right there and probably head for New York, maybe upstate somewhere, and probably quit again, you know, so that I can uh, see a lot of the things along the way, and then pick up from there, go to the Great Lakes, maybe see my friends in Montreal. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, but there, again, there are a lot of factors that are unforeseeable. For right now, this is July 5th, it's Tuesday, it's pretty warm, <laughs> and I finally got my butt out on my beloved kayak here. I have my Bass Raider, which I just worked on recently. Uh, I replaced the carpet and gussied her up after 1,200 miles of being pulled behind my boat. I want to take that out. I've got a canoe to play with that's brand new. Some other toys that are uh, Pelican related. Uh, I don't know. I got some more content to share with you guys and I'm just gonna let things happen as you know with their natural progression. When the videos come out um, I hope you guys enjoy the the story and the narrative and can look beyond the fact that uh, the timeline might be a little screwed up. So anyways that's the update. I'm gonna get back to fishing. I see a lot of mullet. I see a few uh, flounder and stingray and tremendous amount of mullet 
and lizard fish and <laughs> that looked like a that, yeah, that was a mullet so um yeah i'm learning and uh if i catch a fish i'll share with i'll share that with you too all right back at it catch you later